How many generations did God destroy after the people of Noah? Or have you not traveled throughout the earth and seen how the end was for those before you? God destroyed all that Pharaoh and his people were producing and building. And yet a warning certainly came to them, but they were an arrogant and criminal people. Then he made them a precedent and an example for the later peoples. Then why did those they took as gods besides God not aid them? But they had strayed from them. And that was their falsehood and what they were inventing. Then are you not guided? seeing how many generations God destroyed before you as you walk among their dwellings? For there are signs in that for those of intelligence. Theirs was like the custom of the people of Pharaoh and those before them. They denied the signs of God. So he seized them for their sins. And God is severe in penalty. So how many cities has God shattered which were unjust? And then he produced another people after that. So travel throughout the earth and observe how the end was for those before. Most of them were idolaters. But their idols are unable to give them help nor can they help themselves. So have you not traveled throughout the earth and do you not have hearts by which to reason and ears by which to hear? For how many cities did God prolong enjoyment for while they were committing wrong? Then God sees them. So have you not traveled throughout the earth and observed how the end was for those before you? For God sees them for their wrongdoing, and they did not have any protector from God. So how many generations has God destroyed before you? And none were availed at all by their gods when the command of your Lord came. And they did not increase them in anything other than ruin.
So travel throughout the earth and observe how the end was for the deniers. Or have you not considered how your Lord dealt with Ad and Thamud and others who carved out the rocks in the valley? Those are their houses in ruins because of the wrong they had done. Indeed, there is a sign in that for people who know. Then have you not seen how many generations God destroyed before you, which he had established upon the earth as he has not established you? So how many cities did God destroy while they were committing wrong? So they are now fallen into ruin. And how many lofty palaces and how many abandoned wells? Then have you not considered how many generations God destroyed before you? Do you perceive anyone from them or hear a sound from them? Then have you not considered how many generations God destroyed before you? that they will not return to you? For how many cities were insolent toward the command of God and his messengers? So God took them to a severe account and punished them with a terrible punishment. Then do you not remember what God did to Sodom and Gomorrah? Their land lies in clods of pitch and heaps of ashes. God will also do the same to those who do not hear him. And thus is the seizure of God when he seizes the cities while they are committing wrong. Indeed, his seizure is painful and severe. And so God has already destroyed the cities surrounding you. Some are still standing among them, and some are cut down as a harvest. So God destroyed those cities when they wronged. And he had already sent warners among them. So look at how the end was for those who were warned. Because God set forth many examples for you. And you lived among the dwellings of those who wronged themselves. And so it had become clear to you how God dealt with them. Then God made you successes in the land after them so that he may observe how you will do. Then do you await nothing except the way of the former peoples? But you will never find any change or alteration in the way of God. For there is a predetermined term for every civilization to be destroyed by God. And once your civilization's time has come, you will not postpone its destruction an hour, nor will you advance it. 